In this video, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to a new tool we've been building called Exemplar. The interface to Exemplar looks awfully similar to that of CodePirate.org, but with one major difference. While the left-hand side is still an editor, the right-hand side is no longer an interaction area. Instead, it gives users information about the quality of their tests. Let's see how that works on an example. The problem we've queued up is one of writing the median of a list of numbers. We're going to write examples to demonstrate our understanding of the problem. Here's our first example. We've written that the median of a list containing just one should be one. When we run our examples, Exemplar is actually going to run them against a collection of implementations that are hidden from the user. Some of these implementations, called wheats, are known to be correct, while some of them, called chaffs, are known to be incorrect. Our goal is to pass all of the wheats and catch as many chaps as we can. Let's see how this particular example fares. The output exemplar gives us is that both the wheats accepted this example, but none of the chaps were caught by it. That suggests that the example is certainly correct, but not a very good exploration of the set of mistakes one might make when thinking about the median. So it's time to add a few more examples. Now the median is a tricky problem. People disagree about what should happen when given an even length list. There are some, for instance, who feel that the median must always be an element of the list itself. Let's try that. Let's say that given an even length list, the median is the element to the left of the middle of the list. This is exactly the kind of information that a problem might fail to specify clearly enough or that a student might misunderstand and only discover when they get a low grade on the assignment. In contrast, Exemplar immediately tells us that this is not consistent with the problem definition before we've written any code at all and perhaps even helping us avoid a bunch of mistakes when we eventually write the code. Exemplar intentionally doesn't show us what the correct output should be but mousing over the bug icon does show which examples went wrong. In this way, we discover that in our problem, the median is defined as the average of the two middle elements. Observe that in this process, we also seem to have caught one of the chaffs, that is, found one of the buggy implementations to be incorrect. Here's another example to try. What's the median of the list 1, 3, 2? Some students actually believe that the median is the middle element and therefore, the median of this list ought to be 3. That isn't, of course, how the median is actually defined. An exemplar immediately tells us that. This is starting to look pretty good, so you may not have realized that none of the examples we've written so far distinguish the median from the mean or even a certain definition of the mode. Sure enough, writing an example that distinguishes the median from the mean catches one more chaff, and from the mode catches the remaining one. In fact, research shows that students will inadvertently solve a similar sounding problem that they have seen before. Therefore, including solutions to those problems as chaps will help make sure students don't make that mistake. This concludes our brief presentation of Exemplar, a tool designed to help students make sure they're solving the right problem before they start working on their solution and to reinforce a critical step of the How to Design program's design recipe. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation. Thank you.